A new University of Colorado at Boulder study may have a chilling effect on people who like to take warm showers. Researchers using high-tech instruments and lab methods analyzed showerheads from nine cities, including New York, Chicago, and Denver. What they found is that some showerheads can be breeding grounds for potentially harmful bacteria called Microbacterium avium. These pathogen-laced water droplets can easily be inhaled into the deepest parts of the lung. Norman Pace is the lead author of the study and a distinguished professor of biology at CU Boulder. Um, what we found was about something around 30 percent, I think it was the number of showerheads indeed contained significant loads of Microbacterium avium. Researcher Leah Fiesel took a few showerheads and broke them into pieces and was able to put them into a scanning electron microscope to look at the surface of the showerheads in detail. The bottom two panels are uh, scanning electron micrographs. These are bacterial rods about three micrometers um, or microns in length. In this image over on the left, this is actually right at the lip of one of the tiny little holes in your shower head and you can see how actually rough and scummy it is from the inside and these shower heads were pretty normal they didn't look particularly gross when I cut them open and so I was really surprised to see this much um, biofilm formation on the inside. It's not unusual to find pathogens in tap water but Pace says the levels found in the shower heads were more than 100 times the levels found in municipal water. That means if you get a face full of shower head when you first turn your shower on, that means you're getting a particularly high load of Mycobacterium avium. Very unhealthy place to be. The bacteria can cause a non-tuberculosis type of illness, says Pace. Symptoms can include feeling tired, weakness, shortness of breath, and a dry, persistent cough. This, these sorts of diseases tend to develop very slowly, probably over years. What you notice is tiredness, shortness of breath, um, a dry cough, continuous dry cough. If you have a continuous dry cough, it's probably worthwhile getting a workup on. So is it dangerous to take showers? Probably not, says Pace, as long as your immune system is not compromised in some way. If you are, your immune system is not damaged in some way, it's probably not dangerous. Uh, but it's like with any other thing, there's a risk assessment associated with it. There's a risk assessment. Pace says the study also showed that plastic showerheads appear to load up with more pathogen-enriched biofilms. So metal showerheads may be a good alternative.